आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड ना and there is a attachment of spring here and there is a coil that is called lcd coil here and here is a mirror placed in that moving gear manometer as a strip it is made up of phosphorus brown strip so it is about the diagram of the moving gear manometer now let discuss its principle and working from here the diagram is also very much clear to you so first we start here with principle and working principal and working so here what is the basic principle we use here that a current carrying coil that a current carrying coil when placed in a in a uniform magnetic field placed in a uniform magnetic field then it will experiences a torque so it is basic principle whenever a coil is placed in a uniform magnetic field it will experiences a torque now for its working we have to suppose that let there be rectangular coil let there be rectangular coil having n number of turns n number of turns b will be the intensity of magnetic field intensity of magnetic field and i be the current going through the coil current going through a coil and area of cross section of coil area of cross section of coil should be equal to l into b that should be equal to capital l is the length e is the breadth of coil now we know that when a coil is the basic principle the coil will experience a torque when there is a exertion of torque first there is a spring attached here i will discuss with you there is a spring attached here so as a result of which there is a reflection torque will exert now reflection torque should be equal to what reflection torque should be equal to b there is force in perpendicular direction force is bi l so the distance we take b here which is actually exactly we can say that the breadth of a coil here now it should be equal to bi into a if there are number of terms then that is ni b a Here the deflection torque. Mainly should be equal to deflection torque should be equal to N I A B sine theta. Just for your knowledge, I will explain you that we use here the magnetic field must be radial. Radial magnetic field should be used. As a result of which theta should be equal to 90 degree. So sine 90 should be equal to one. So that's why we use a relation particular here, that is N I A B A instead of N I A B sine theta. 
So relation is NIAB. Yeah. So what is the basic function of that spring? You know that whenever there is a reflection tau, the spring will exert a restoring tau definitely. Spring, spring will exert a restoring tau definitely, which should depend upon theta reflection angle. So equal to k into theta, where k is a spring constant or restoring constant, we can say. So k, I have written here also, k is, you can also be restoring tau, k can also be defined as restoring tau per unit twist, per unit twist. Now, at equilibrium, what will happen? Both the top must be equal. So we can say that N I A B should be equal to K into theta from here current should be equal to K upon here current should be equal to K upon N A B into theta and here all these terms in scale in this bracket is constant so I should directly depend upon theta. So it is the basic thing we need here that granular meter divide you so my current very small value of current which cannot be measured by n meter. So how can you measure? The current will depend upon theta. With the variation of theta, I should be very and and measure the respective current. So it is the all end about its working. Now there is also a part B which is also to support of a question I will discuss with you. First I will read again for you so that the answer is very much clear to you that. Why is it necessary to introduce a cylindrical software and core inside the coil of granometer? So the basic purpose, the main purpose of software and core here. The mainly it will produce radial magnetic field, but the, its necessary function is that it will increase the strength of magnetic field. Strength of magnetic field. And also the second part in the question that increase the current sensitivity of dynamometer may not necessarily increase its voltage sensitivity. Why? So here the reason for that question that we know that current sensitivity should be equal to current sensitivity equal to theta upon i so it should be equal to NVA upon k and about voltage sensitivity It should be equal to theta upon V and by Ohm's law we should be equal to I into R. So it should be equal to NBA upon K 1 by R. So from these two equations, from these two equations that here, first is like this and second is like this. It is quite easy to clear that, so it implies that by increasing the current sensitivity, by increasing the current sensitivity, current sensitivity may not necessarily, may not necessarily increases the voltage sensitivity, voltage sensitivity. So I hope the answer is very much clear to your students. So thank you. Class 6 to 12 से लेके NEET IIT JE mains और advanced के level तक 10 million से ज़्यादा students का भरोसा. आज ही download करें doubt net app या WhatsApp कीजिए अपने doubts 8400400 पर.